Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avron Lefebvre, and this is Explained, the show where we break down the tech in the gear that you use. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down what Rosnold's serrated edges are, how they work, and if you need them. Rosnold's serrated edges is what I'd like to refer to as visible edge technology, basically meaning that when it is on the board shop wall and you're looking at buying it, you can see it. Now, some of you might say it looks like magnet traction, and you would be correct. It basically is. All serrated edges are is added contact points to the board. There are two versions of serrated edges with Rosnold. You have the S5 and the S7. That number correlates to how many added contact points the board has. The S5 has three between the feet and one out at the tip and the tail, whereas the S7 has three between the feet and two out at the tip and the tail. So how does it work? Have you ever tried to cut a steak with a butter knife? Didn't do shit, did it? But you grab a serrated steak knife and it cuts right into it? Same concept. All it's doing is giving you more edge bite at key points in the flex pattern and camber profile of the board, allowing you to dig in and lay an edge. Now, some brands, like Mervin, have magnet traction, which I've already mentioned, that has a more aggressive grip to it, whereas Rosinald's serrated edges are a little more mellow, but they still do the job. Do you need serrated edges? No. No, you don't. Sharpen your edges, people. It's not that hard of a concept. Like, take care of your edges and your board will still grip. Also, if you buy a board that has a multiple radius side cut and they actually blend the radiuses together, that's the contact points. They're just blending where the radiuses meet so that they don't bump out. That's, that's literally it. You don't need it. Does it have added benefits? Yes, it does grip a little bit better in ice compared to something that's just like a straight radial side cut. But if you have a board that's multi-radius, it can still do the same thing. Do you need it? No. Is it a benefit? Sometimes. Is it for everyone? Yeah, sure, why not? Some people might bitch that it grips a little too much. I've, I've been on boards that do that with have mag traction, serrated edges, traction bumps, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Overall, it's there. You can see it. You're paying for the technology. Did you learn what Rosnold's serrated edges are? Good. That means there's hope for you because if you didn't, I can't help you at all. You're, you're unsavable. You're buying snowboards from this guy. Anyways, if you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we've got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you'd really like to support us and you just want to see us grow out what we're doing here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Mm -hmm.